Hi guys, here's a new unboxing and this is for one of the most unusual expansions we had for Time of Legends Joan of Arc and it's called Ars Nova, which means the new art in Latin, all right? So as you can see on the, on the cover, uh, it's based on monk adventures, <laughs> monk investigations, uh, a bit like the name of the rose, if, you, if you've seen this movie, this great movie, or if you've read this great book. So this is, uh, this is the, uh, the box. You can see it's a smaller box than usually. Uh, and it's, as I said, a very unusual expansion because here it's almost like a game in the game. So you will have two scenarios in it. One that will be um, almost like a, a board game uh, an investigation with monks uh, who have to investigate on a mystery in, in an abbey. Uh, and so it, it has lots of new uh, material. And the second one is more a typical Joan of Arc scenario, but with this particular setting, and it's again an investigation. So, as you will see uh, in this box, it's almost like a, a board game, like I said. So you have some uh, game aids. So this one in French and in English. Everything is in two languages. So this one was in, in French, you see. This one is, is in English. So these are reference uh, cards that you need to play the game. You also have them in cards. Then you have two booklets with uh, the scenarios. Uh, so yes, this one is, is the English one. You have the French one. So on this one, uh, as you see, uh, it takes, well, uh, the, the, the background is a very, is a historical thing that really happened when a, a new music was created uh, that was not really canon to, to the church. So uh, it was very controversial and, and some people, uh, some of these musicians and mathematicians wanted it to be recognized by uh, the Pope. And so there was, the, the, th the theme is, all about it and you will see I will not I'm not going to tell you all the mysteries about it but there there is a lot of things uh, behind it and of course the devil is not far from uh, from all this so uh, this is the uh, the setting uh, the rules as you can say see uh, well it, it's a big abbey and you have all the the building interiors that you can visit you also have the fields you have you have uh, uh, Plenty of locations that you can visit where you can find clues. And then uh, you have the rules that are described uh, uh, in, in, in the game. So this is the first one, which is, as I said, a game in the game. And then you have a scenario that is more, uh, more like a kind of a werewolf scenario, but uh, reversed. Uh, and more like a Joan of Arc scenario. So this, this is the booklet you have. As I said, you have it in French and in English. The game has a lot of new uh, punch boards. So you will see this punch board is when you do your investigation. So you will have to put them uh, here. You see? So on this side, it's, it's all the same. And on the other one, you will have sometimes some skulls and sometimes some scrolls. And you will see uh, in the game how it works. You have new tiles and new uh, building interiors. Uh, these building interiors are uh, from the monastery. See, inside and outside. So when it's destroyed, when it's not. So of course, these can be used later on to create new scenarios. Because of course, the community and ourselves will keep posting new scenarios on our website. We have started doing it already. And if you go to our website, www.mythicgames.net, you will look at the download section and you will see uh, lots of things. So this is a new, yes, a new, new tile, a new board, punch board, new interiors, new tiles, new, uh, you know, like they are, uh, they are doing uh, lots of things in this, uh, in this monastery. And of course, they have all the, uh, um, let me see, yes, the orchard, the quarry, the, the vineyard, uh, the cemetery, the wash house, and the fountains. These are the new, uh, the new kind of maps that you have. 
You have plenty of uh, tokens. You have like the victory board. Uh, so you have all these new tokens that you need in the game. Right, so let me undo a few of them. Because as usually I will try and, and show you uh, how it looks. And then I will show you the monks minis. Okay. Yes. So unusual things. We we have a uh, a timer. Um, That you will need during the game a sunglass. Uh, you have new cards that you need use for this game, as I said, like this little board game using the, the rules of uh, Joan of Arc, but adding some special things because it's supposed to be played fast. Uh, you have, of course, new bases and let me show you the cards and I will finish with the minis. So the cards, some plenty of monk cards. Oh, this guy reminds me of someone. <laughs> then you have the, oh, these are in French. So let me show you, you see, gorgeous. Uh, uh, I told you the devil was sneaking. This is all in French, but you will see all the cards are both in French and in English. And finally, let's look at let's look at the minis. I'm going to open the bag. Always difficult. <laughs> look at look at them. So yes, you have one holding cro a cross. You have one holding a scroll. You have a typical uh, hooded uh, monk. And more than one. You have this old monk with a, a wand or stick. You have this young monk uh, with hands in the pockets. Plenty of new mods with their stat cards, of course. Uh, so that will add minis uh, for more scenarios or even the battle mode because they have some special effects. So yes, here, all the mods are here. i gathered here. That's it. You see uh, a different uh, Small ex uh, expansion, you know, it was the smallest expansion we had in the game, uh, yet there's a lot of gameplay and replay value. So I hope you will enjoy it. <laughs>